everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you want to learn how to depuff your face, snatch that jaw, and also have a chance to win your own box of I Bat masks from Innovative Posh, then keep watching. That's from my bathtub. I wanted to pop on here and give you guys a life update and also say I'm back. <laughs> I have been trying so hard to make videos. Okay, not so hard, but I have been trying to make videos you know, on and off for the past year. And it's just been so hard. And I don't know why, because I did it for so long and I got really good at it. And then I took a break from it. And now it's like, I've had so much anxiety. Like I've been promising my friends, I'm going to get back to it. And then like super promising in the last two weeks. And then I've sat down to try to do it a couple of times and it just gives me so much anxiety like what if my content isn't good or what if nobody wants to watch me or what if I look crazy and I mean I know I look a little bit crazy but I'm trying to shut those negative thoughts out and just get back to you guys because I did really love the community that I had and when you guys comment on my videos it's so exciting blah 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 so here we are so I wanted to give you a little life update. So I haven't made a video in basically a year. I did one random one last fall. Um, but you know, I started to do a house tour way back when. I moved into a new house. When I first started my channel eight years ago, I was in a rental house. And so there was never that nagging feeling like, oh, I should go you know, water the plants or take care of the animals because I didn't have animals back then either. Anyway, moved into a new house, I think three years ago now. Yeah, I think it just was three years ago. And uh, when I moved into the house, it had a chicken coop on the property. And so I bought some chickens off Craigslist, knowing nothing about chickens, learned a little bit about them, started to get into the whole like homesteading movement, if you will, like planted a garden, got the chickens. I bought an incubator and hatched out some guinea hens, which are very cool, like dinosaur looking um, birds. Very cool. So I hatched them out. So I had a coop of chickens, a coop of guineas. Um, and then as the pandemic was starting to hit in 2020, I, again, was already in the homesteading frame of mind thinking I wanted to add, you know, some goats and pigs maybe. And then COVID was like kind of coming down the pike. And so I was like, well, there was ever time to start getting animals. And so I got two goats and three pigs. Now I bought Cooney Cooney Pigs, which is like a really fancy designer breed of pigs that is very expensive. I paid almost $1,000 per pig for each of my three pigs and bought them as a breeding set. So two females, one male, none of them are related so that I could, you know, have piglets and sell them and, you know, just go on to a whole farming lifestyle. Well, that didn't happen. Well, I mean, the piglets happened, but the whole selling them didn't happen because I immediately imprinted on them and I couldn't let them leave. Thankfully, um, the very first lead, uh, litter of piglets was just two. The next litter was also just two. So perfect. So I had the four. Then my girls got pregnant again because that's what pigs do. So I separated the males and the females so that it would never happen again. However, because the girls had each had small litters the first time around, they decided to have larger litters this time around. Blah, blah, blah. You guys, I am up to 14 pigs. However, everybody has either been um, fixed or is on the books to be fixed before the males and the females are able to be combined back together into one giant happy little family. So no more piglets will be happening here. However, we did go through a time and so, yeah. So instead of three pigs, I have 14 pigs. Um, I still have two goats. I did have more goats, but then there was a tragic, tragic situation. You guys, if I could go back and do it over again, I would probably not do any of these animals because I think I have aged 25 years just stressing about them being hot or cold or hungry or happy or whatever and then when we had we lost the goat like i literally cried for days and days and days and days blah 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 anyway that was a little bit of a tangent i've been getting super into like health and wellness i mean not that i'm exercising very regularly or anything but <laughs> baby steps right i do walk around when i do my chores i do a little bit here and there but i don't actually hit my home gym that i have or use my rower that i have shame on me Feel free to shame me in the comments. Um, but I have been getting into really eating super clean, um, being really cognizant about the vitamins and minerals that I take, which is ironic because I'm gonna do a whole separate video about perfectly posh 
um, being acquired by Innovative Nutrition, which is vitamin patches. I've got some on right there. Um, unrelated to that, I've been getting into vitamins and minerals. I found this company called Symbiotica. A lot of their um, vitamins are put into liposomal format, which is still stuff that I'm learning. Don't take my word for it, research it on yourself. But it's a really high quality vitamin that's really bioavailable to your body. Really same thing with the patches, but we're not talking about patches. I've been getting into health and wellness. And just trying to be better about my self-care because, hi, I'm turning 40 this year. <laughs> it's all in the mindset. Everything's fine. I'm still young in my heart. I'm still young in my face. Anyway, I'm turning 40 this year. Um, so I'm just that much more cognizant of being healthy in my lifestyle because time's up. Check out, you know, like in my 20s, I was like, oh, I'll worry about that in my 30s. And in my 30s, I was like, oh, I'll worry about that in my 40s. And now that I'm 39 and, you know, three quarters, I'm like, oh God, it's time to start worrying about it. So that said, I'm going to show you, uh, during this video, a little routine that I learned from Kathleen. Oh, I forgot my ice roller in the freezer. I'm going to have to go get that. Um, I learned from Kathleen Jennings Beauty on Instagram. She has this whole de-puffing routine um, that I'm going to show you. So stay tuned for the de-puffing routine. Um, another reason that I've been trying to get super healthy is because I do want to have kids. And hi, I'm going to be 40, so my time is running out. And so I figure, well, let's just make those eggs as healthy as possible. <sighs> I have so much stress in my life, but it's all first world problems. I don't actually have, you know terrible, no good things to worry about, but I worry about being able to have a baby. I worry about my business growing. I worry about the lines on my forehead. I worry about my pigs, blah, blah, blah. This is just real talk. I should probably just delete this whole video and start again, but I'm not going to because I'm just putting it out there. Okay. I am um, really excited to be back here on YouTube. So I hope that you guys will give me a little bit of love. Hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button. And if you hit the bell, you will be notified every time I make a video. I am going to go grab my ice roller. I'm gonna have to pause you so you don't see me get out of the bathtub. And then I will go over the de-puffing routine. Okay, I'm back. So if you are at all familiar with Kathleen Jennings Beauty on Instagram, she is known for her chin straps. So I ordered them and we're gonna try it out together. So um, she wears these everywhere she goes, like in the car line, to the grocery store, to the movie theater. She just doesn't give a fuck and just does it, does it, does it. Okay. So this is how it comes. And you're going to peel off the backing. And then you want to stretch the mask out two or three times. Okay, and then the little, this is gonna go on your chin, and then you stretch, and this is gonna give you a super, ah! Okay, and what we are doing is we are snatching the jawline. And you want to do this when you can really commit to it, whether it's your morning, afternoon, or evening, whenever you have the time. Because once we apply all of this stuff on, we're going to be leaving it on for an hour, okay? Well, I mean, you don't have to, but the longer you leave it on, the more effective it is. Okay, so I've got my chin strap on. Next, Kathleen recommends the Clarins Depuffing Mask. So, or it's actually the V Facial Intensive Wrap. Depuffs, relieves, and brightens. So we're trying, we're going to try it. And it comes with a fancy little tool too. And then I'm gonna show you the posh eye masks in a minute. And that also comes with a fancy tool. I see you, the skincare companies. And then we're going to put this all over where the mask, uh, the, the chin strap is not. Kath, 
Kathleen even puts it on her eyelids, which I wouldn't do if I hadn't seen her do it. Oh, watch out for the lashes, Jessica. Hopefully my lash lady doesn't watch this. She'll get mad at me. <laughs> Everything's fine. Just don't get it in your fake lashes. Okay. You guys, the scent of this mask is actually very nice. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And now the next step, we're going to use our Posh Eye Bet under eye pads. So again, I told you it comes with a fancy little tool right here. So that's this. Um, and you guys saw in the title, I said that this was also going to be a giveaway. And so I have an extra set of the I Bet iPads, which is a retail value of $40 um, that I'm going to give away to one lucky subscriber. So in order to win, you have to be a subscriber. You have to comment down below um, and you have to like this video. And I will announce the winner of the giveaway next Sunday. Okay. Now that we've got that out of the way, let me scoop out my little iPads. And then this, um, the eye mask, under eye mask things are gonna go right on top of the mask under your eye. Okay, there's one. Obviously make sure you're applying everything with very clean hands onto a clean face. I washed it right before I started recording, okay. It's hard to see in this camera finder, but voila. Um, again, Kathleen is crazy with her depuffing, and she will actually wear these under eye pads flipped up on her lids as well. I can't try that today because my lashes are fresh, but feel free to try it. If you suffer from super puffy eyes, try them under the eye. Also flip and on top of the eyelid. It's crazy. It looks crazy. But anyway, okay, so we're totally put on now, we're gonna start our timer and try to keep it this way for like 30 to 60 minutes, the longer the better. I've got my ice roller and we're gonna roll. And the ice roller is gonna help with the deep puffing. So I am not an expert, but if you want to learn more fun, <laughs> glamorous self-care tips like this, make sure you subscribe. It feels very nice. I could see this being like an evening TV routine situation, maybe. Anyway, it is Sunday, so self-care Sunday. Let's see if I can get this posted promptly. It's still morning here in California. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna try to get over myself, get over my anxiety and make some videos for you guys. Maybe do some unboxings. Maybe um, I really should do some cooking. I love to cook once in a while, and that might be a fun video too. If you guys have any ideas for me for videos, I would really appreciate it. Oh yeah, let's make that the way you enter the giveaway. Okay, I've got it. The way you enter the giveaway is to comment down below with um, a video idea that you would love to see me do, or like some kind of something. I don't know, does that make sense? If you don't wanna comment with that, just Tell me I'm so sweet and you love watching me. <laughs> um, okay, I think that's it. What else do I have to update you on? That's it. I've got some dresses to try on from Rent the Runway later. Um, a week from Wednesday, I'm leaving to go to our annual convention, previously called Uncon, now called Elevate. Not mad at that name change. I'm very excited. It's gonna be in Dallas. Dallas is gonna be so hot, but I'm just not gonna leave my hotel room. Well, my hotel, I will leave the room. Hmm, what else? I'm super excited, so yeah. Okay, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below for your chance to win your own. Oh, that's the one. This is the brand new one that I'm giving away. This is my open one your chance to win your own box of I bet under eye masks or on top of eye masks, whichever you prefer. And finally, before I go, I just want you to know 
I'm not actually in the bathtub and everything you see on the internet is not actually real. I hope you have a great day and thanks so much for watching.